Good Saturday evening, everyone, and welcome to the Saturday Evening Rant. This week, in honor of this event that seems to be taking the nation by storm, I thought I would talk about it. Yes, that is right, I'm talking about clowns. Phantom clowns, clowning around, whatever you want to call it, let's talk about clowns. This week's episode is going to be in a little different format. I'm going to do it in three separate parts, all one episode. Let's get started with part number one, why I don't like clowns. So as long as I can remember, I never really liked clowns. It's something creepy about them as you don't know who's behind the mask. I've heard all these different stories about, you know, how sex offenders become clowns and how rapists become clowns and all these different people become clowns because they can hide their identity. I would have to say my first event in my life that shaped the way I look at clowns was in a parade when I was a little kid. We were marching in the parade and I was in a wagon. I was really, really young at the time. And I just remember this this clown coming up to me and saying something like, oh, what, you can't walk or something like that? I don't know. The clown said something to me that was just weird and I never really liked clowns. I never liked the idea of clowns. They were always kind of just creepy. At Six Flags, up where we live, there used to be this haunted trail of terror i don't know if they still have it going on or not but one of the attractions was like a clown house and i remember when you're getting towards the end of this clown house there was a whole bunch of tarps and they were kind of leading to like an intersection where you know the room was getting tighter and there's somebody that was supposed to hop out that was dressed like a clown at the end to scare you I remember swinging my fists on the wall and I actually punched this guy, that punched this clown. I just didn't like clowns. I wasn't one of those kids. All right, so the second part is what is the deal? I don't know what is going on, but it seems that this is just happening every single where, every state this is happening. People see a bush that looks weird in the night and they call it in and call the police department. They think it's a phantom clown. It's just strange. It's bizarre that this is going on. And this is like sweeping the area where I live there was a video, I'm going to put it up on the screen right now, but like a week or so ago, this person was driving by a shopping center and there was a clown standing outside that said free hugs and the clown apparently chased after the car and this video went quote unquote viral online. There was, you know, a couple million hits on this within a few days. Come to find out it was this guy promoting his haunted house that's going to be happening at the Big E this year and... There was never anybody in danger. The driver was in on the joke or, you know, in on the, the clown scare. This is just something that's wild. Everybody is just getting hyped up on this. And I really don't see what the big deal is. Most of the time, these, these clowns aren't even that scary looking. It's just stupid looking. We actually had one of the universities up here. There was a report of one of these clowns being spotted on campus and a mob of students went out after this. Like, this isn't Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. This is, this is just crazy. And it, it seems to be that every single night there's more and more of these sightings out there, but yet nobody can get video proof or photographic proof and then there's all these videos popping up on youtube that just seem so far-fetched to be able to count them as being true or count them as being validated sightings and this is just getting out of hand this is getting out of hand so much to the point where somebody is going to get killed that leads me into the next segment and the final segment which is the possible dangers of this we live in a society right now where everybody is afraid to go out into public because they're in fear of terrorists or they're in fear of all these different things that have been happening. And the fact that people are going around trying to scare other individuals by wearing these clown masks, by hiding in dark areas, is just asking for trouble. I am surprised at this point that not a single person has been shot and killed over one of these stupid pranks. Yeah, it's fun. It's, it's funny a couple times when you do it, but when you have thousands of people doing it and every Every single state it just isn't that funny anymore i i don't know if it's the fact that circuses have been dying over the years that is drawing all these people out that have a secret passion for wanting to become clowns something weird about a grown man wants to dress up in a bunch of rainbow colored outfits and have a big fluffy nose or honky nose however you want to call it and put a wig on and put giant shoes on and with that being said, that is going to do it for this episode of the Saturday Evening Rant. Thank you very much for watching and listening along. Comment down below. Let me know if you think there is an underground clown Illuminati that is trying to take over the nation by storm. As always, hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy this video. And I will see everybody tomorrow evening for the weekend vlog.